hello and welcome guys hope you are doing great so i am here again with a new video around moodle so in this video we will see how to enable debug mode and what are the various modes of debug in moodle so for that you need to log in with site administration and i am already logged in with site administrator role and now click on site administration so that is the part of development so it will come under this development so click on development since are related to development and you only need here to click on debugging and debug message so by default it remains none and i have make it to minimum so only the fatal errors so here are the option if you want to see all the message including warning error notice everything then you will have to click on developer mode so it will show you all the errors that appear on the page okay so this way you can see the error message so let's suppose i i let me make a issue on this page so under my and here under index this one make it param this and let's see what it says so i am going to refresh this page and again coming to index page so this is the message so that was inside my index.php so this is error message basically showing if i disable so click on display none and you will find so after clicking on none again i refresh that same page you see so this page was with the uh, with this option developer mode extra model debugging message for developers so it so this that means it will also give you the line number where the issue is still sorry here on the page you see here the issue it also give you the line number 44 it says but if you select none only this will appear okay and along with this model url so you can try this uh, setting up uh, as per need but make sure on the production it remains either non or milman if you want only so the error message warning notice you can click on this normal one and if you refresh this page only in normal it display on this one if you click on all all reasonable bugs and save and refresh again it display only this and if you click the developer mode and refresh again it will give you the detailed information about the bug where that issue is coming on which line file you also see debugging info also see so you can try this during development all these uh, options and let us know in case you have any question or doubt in the commentary of this video thank you thank you for watching and have a great day